this lesson, we're going to do a brief overview of QGIS. So if you don't have QGIS, go to their website and download the version that is for your system. I'm going to be working with an older version of QGIS because it's the most stable version. We're going to work with QGIS Desktop. You can also use QGIS Desktop with Grass. All right, now that we're ready to start QGIS, I want to go over a few details briefly. All right, this center area is where we'll be working with all of our roster data. And the roster data is the images, the TIFF files, over here on the left, we have the layers panel, and this is where each layer that is added to the palette over here will, will be. It'll, it'll line up in a list similar to the way it is here. So on the right here is the toolbox. This has all the tools that will be needed to create any of the information that you need up here we have settings. This is where you go in and customize the look of QGIS and make it the way that you need it to be for the way you're going to use it. And then options. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that your CRS is set up the way you need it to be. By that I mean Make sure that the correct projection or datum is added to your project before you start making measurements or adding contours. Otherwise, the information will be off. I have it set to automatically adjust for the projection that is in my data, but I always want to be sure to check it just in case something changed. Now that we're ready, I'm going to go into the file and I'm going to add my ortho mosaic. And as you can see, it's in the layer panel. And then I'll add my DTM. And it goes into the layer panel as well with the information from the ground control points. First, I want to check to make sure that my projection is correct. And the next thing that I'll do is change the look of my DTM. I just do that to make it a little easier for me to work with. You can leave it the same or make the changes. So here is the view that I like to work with. And the first thing to do here is add my contour lines. So I'll go over here and I've already used this tool so I can just double click it. If you don't see the tool, you can just type in contour here and it should populate. I want to set my elevations to five feet. So I'll just put in five and click run. As you can see, the contour lines have been populated. So the first thing that I'm going to do with mine will be to smooth out these lines to make them look a little cleaner. And again, if you don't see the line smoothing tool, you can just type it in and it should populate. Also, if you don't have that tool, you can go into the plugins and here are numerous tools that you can download and they will automatically install into your QGIS. So right here I'll go to basic SIA model and then for sensitivity I won't start low. I'll just go straight up the middle with 50 click run and then it's created my new lines and here's the layer for those lines so I'm going to go into the properties and change the color so that it's easier to see and there we go so that's quite a bit of difference As you can see it's smoothed out these jagged lines we can turn those off 
can go into the properties and turn on the layer for elevation. And as you see, it adds the elevation to the different lines. And from here, you can go in and change anything from the font type to the size of each elevation line, the placement, all kinds of options to more easily customize the map to the way that you want it to look. Okay, so the next little feature I want to show is how to clear up some of these lines that you don't need. For instance, I don't need contour lines on top of buildings. So I'll go to the Edit tool. And then I'll pick the Select Feature tool so that I can select all the features that I want to delete. Once I select them, I'll hit the delete key. Okay, so that's good enough for now. So I want to save my changes. I click on the pencil and then click save. The next thing that I want to do is make the orthomosaic look a little bit smoother. So I'm going to click on that layer, go to properties, and right here in the style tab, you see the option for zoomed in. I'm going to go with average and the oversampling rate. I'm going to raise to four, and then when I hit OK, it's going to smooth out the whole image and that makes it look a little bit cleaner. Alright, so now I'm going to do a quick measurement just to show how the measurement tool can be used in a number of ways. Alright, so to use the measurement tool, go up here to the ruler, click on measure line, and it'll populate with the uh, tool here and you can click on configure. I'll just do this just to double check that my measurements are in the right order. Sometimes they default to meters but my GCPs are in feet so I need to use that option. So I'll just right click on the line and then drag it down to the next line. I'll left click on it and then right click to save that spot. If you don't right click, you'll continue to make more measurements. As you can see, this one is 15 feet and that's 5 yards, so that is 15 feet. If it was meters, it would be, it would be 4.5 meters.